Hi, today I have prepared another video about population genetics for you, and here is a problem. In population, genotype frequencies have been estimated before and after selection, and before selection, uh, the frequencies of the three genotypes were as follows, and after selection, as you see, the frequencies of the three genotypes have changed, and you have to calculate the selection coefficient of each genotype. So, if you know how to do it, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own, and when you would be ready with your answer, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And in order to solve this problem, let me uh, remind you first uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula, and uh, that uh, represent frequencies of the three genotypes and here we have f stands for the frequency that equals to p squared plus 2 p q plus q squared where p squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype 2 p q stands for the heterozygous genotype and q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype and of course all the alleles P and Q, when we add them up, would equal to 1. And allele P, this is dominant allele, and Q is recessive allele. Now let me list all the frequencies in generation 1. This is generation 1 and generation 2. So generation 1 here and generation 2 here. So, uh, here for the homozygous uh, dominant, we have frequency 0 0.25, and in generation 2, it has changed to 0 0.35. So, 0 0.25 here, and 0 0.35 here. As for the heterozygous, it's changed uh, from 0 0.5 to 0 0.40 eight in generation two so let them uh, put here zero point five and zero point forty eight in generation two and as for the homozygous recessive it have changed from zero point twenty five to zero point seventeen and uh, when we add all these numbers we should get 1, according to our formula here. So let's check, and we should get 1 for when we add up all these frequencies. So now we can proceed. So uh, in order to solve this problem, we have to find uh, relative fitness. And as you see, for the homozygous dominant relative fitness or rf has uh, increased so that means that uh, uh, fitness here would be one and in all other examples fitness uh, decreased so here fitness would be one minus s and s stands for the selection coefficient and um, as for the homozygous uh, recessive, this is going to be 1 minus t. And uh, we use uh, s and t for the uh, selection coefficient, because in each case this is going to be different. And in order not to mess uh, these coefficients, we use different uh, letters. So in this case s, and in this case T. So uh, now we can proceed and in our second step when we uh, have to calculate uh, selection coefficient uh, we can use uh, all this uh, data. By the way one selection uh, coefficient we already have found this is uh, one for the homozygous uh, dominant and now we have to find for the heterozygous 
and uh, homozygous recessive. And uh, this is obvious that uh, this is going to be 0 0.5. This is initial uh, frequency uh, multiplied by uh, selection uh, coefficient that is here. So we have to multiply by 1 minus s and we should get uh, 0 0.48 in uh, generation 2 as you see here. And now uh, if we rearrange this formula we are going to get s that is equal and s is uh, selection coefficient that we have to find. So s would equal to 1 minus uh, generation uh, 2 goes on top 0 0.48 divided by generation 1 0 0.5. This is uh, frequencies of the genotypes and uh, the answer here would be 0 0.0 Four, and this is going to be um, answer for the um, selection coefficient for the heterozygous genotype. So uh, it goes here. And uh, as for the homozygous recessive, this is going to be 0 0.25 uh, multiplied by uh, 1 minus t and at the generation 2 we should get 0 0.17 so now we have to find t so t would be once again 1 minus generation 2 goes on top 0 0.17 divided by a frequency of the generation 1 that is 0 0.25 and the answer here would be 0 0.32 so this is going to be um, selection coefficient for the homozygous uh, homozygous recessive so uh, as you see we have find all three um, selection uh, coefficients for the homozygous dominant, heterozygous, that is here, and for the homozygous recessive, that is here. I hope uh, my explanation would help you on your exam. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.